Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image, back with the Canon 60D Portrait Lens Kit. Again, this could be for any of the DX cameras, so the 550D, the 600D, the 7D, um, any of the DX uh, cameras. And basically what we're going to do is go through what you need for a portrait lens kit. And basically you can do this very cheaply by building around primes. So first off, it's a no-brainer to get an 85 millimeter lens. Beautiful compression on an 85 millimeter lens in the sense of it really makes a nice portrait lens. 85 millimeter is a classic portrait length for, for shooting portraits. So you're going to want to go with the Canon 85 millimeter f1.8, excellent choice. Or I would suggest the Sigma 85 millimeter f1.4. Again, an excellent choice and very close in price to the Canon, but you get f1.4, so it's a lot faster. And um, actually, I shouldn't say very close in price. It's a fair bit more, but the F1.4 is nice. If you're saving money, the F1.8 on the Canon is a good route to go and still very quick at F1.8 and a very nice performing lens. So there we have the 85 millimeter as a prime. And then you're going to want to choose in the uh, little bit wider primes. The Canon 28 millimeter F1.8 is an excellent choice here. Reasonably priced, wide, and it's F1.8. Uh, the Sigma is an alternate, 30 millimeter at f1.4. The um, you can also look at the 35 millimeter Canon, the Canon 35 millimeter f2, very sharp, a little more reasonably priced, and a great lens. Um, not quite as fast, but f2 is still pretty quick. And um, 35 millimeter, not quite as wide, but still wide enough. If you have a 35 and an 85, you can zoom with your feet, as they say, and this gets you two great lenses. You can work with these two lenses alone and have a great uh, portrait lens setup. Uh, you would probably also, for the price, want to add the 50 millimeter f1.8. I, if you're only going to get two, I would go for the 35 and the 85 because the f1 or the 50 millimeter uh, is kind of in the middle there, and you want the longer 85 and you want the wider 35 or 30 or 28. So, uh, but at, at 100 bucks or so, the Canon 50 millimeter f1.8 kind of a no-brainer. So I would throw it in there as well. So there's your basic prime lens kit, uh, your basic light lens kit for shooting portraits. These will all do you very nice blown out backgrounds, nice bokeh. They're all very fast lenses, so very good in lower light. Um, and they're going to give you that, that really nice look of isolating your background, especially the 85 with the compression on it. Beautiful lens. Um, to add a couple of zooms to your portrait kit, I would add the Sigma 17 to 50 millimeter f2.8, the image stabilized one, the OS lens. That's a EX HSM OX, uh, OS, I believe is the full terminology. Super fast, super sharp, and gives you a nice range. It's 2.8, it's quite quick, and very fast, very sharp, very Im and, and it is image stabilized. I don't recommend the Canon 17 to 55 due to quality control issues with the IS motor. However, uh, if that's not an issue for you, feel free to add it. It's very sharp optic, so it's very good. It's f2.8 as well. So one of those two. And then I would choose between one of the 70 to 200s for portraits as well if you want to add an additional zoom. So that would be either the Canon 70 to 200 f4L, the f4L IS, or if you want to go even more pricey, the 70 to 200 f2.8L or the 28 ISL or 28LIS, I should say. Um, the other option there, too, is the Sigma 70-200 f2.8 OS. Excellent lens, very sharp, very good performer, and a much better bargain. So basically, folks, you want to get a wider prime. So if you're staying on the on the budgety side, the Canon 35mm f2 is a great choice. Um, and then you can also look at the 28mm f1.8, the Canon, or the Sigma 30mm f1.4. And then I would also throw in the 50 millimeter f1.8 just because it, it hardly costs anything. It's tack sharp and a great lens. And then you want your uh, long lens, which is your 85 millimeter prime, your f1.8 Canon, Canon 85 millimeter f1.8. If you want to step it up a little bit, the Sigma 85 millimeter f1.4, a little bit faster, great choice as well without going all the way to an 85 millimeter or the f1.2L uh, from the Canon, which is very pricey. Again, the two zooms, the 17 to 50 Sigma, or uh, and make sure you get the image stabilized ones, the OS, because it's sharper, it's newer, it's the best uh, standard zoom they have. And um, 
you, if you if you want to go with the Canon 17 to 55 uh, IS, that's fine. I don't recommend it due to quality control issues on the IS motor, and then one of the 70 to 200s. So there you go, folks. That is the uh, portrait lens kit for the Canon DX cameras. That's your 60D, your 550D, your 600D, your 7D, uh, or any of the other ones, 50D, 40D, and so on. And uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some more video posts, some more articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography. Thanks a lot.